Whenever Ohm's hand glows, he can make spikes appear under your feet. Lightning can come out of the wall. Or he could force your uncoordinated ass teammates to meet on the same tile. What if I also told you that you could make sure that these attacks never happen again? I'm just going to warn you now, if you can't get through Ohm without using a lot of brews, then you're not ready to start skipping the specials. Also, if your team hasn't gotten accustomed to running the head yet, then maybe you guys need to practice a little bit more before you do this. This is completely useless unless everybody runs the head correctly. This technique is also useless if you don't understand exactly when Ohm will do each special attack and at what time he'll do them. If you didn't know, Ohm does two auto attacks, which are the attacks that you're praying magic and ranged against, and then he'll do a special attack. So he'll do two auto attacks, then spikes will appear. Two auto attacks, then lightning will appear. Two auto attacks, then the teleport attack will happen. And he continuously does this unless his melee hand is crippled. Have everyone run the head except for the person with the strongest melee weapon on the melee hand and the person with the strongest magical gear on the magical hand. One of these two people need to be skipping the special attacks. Only one person will need to skip at a time. And if that person needs to skip, that means that it is set for their side. Let's go over what it means to be melee set. Pay attention to which way Ulm is looking when his left claw, the one I'm attacking, starts glowing. Notice that he's looking the opposite direction of my character. That's how I know that it is melee set. When Ulm does the same thing again, I make sure that I'm on the same side as my teammates while he is making his hand glow again. This time he doesn't do a special attack. This is because nobody's on the melee hand side at this time. Being able to get off four hits while attacking Ulm's melee hand is called the four to one. The reason it's called four to one is because you do four auto attacks and then you get hit once before you do your skip. Now that you know how to skip the melee hand, let's talk about the magical one. What you need to do is make sure that your teammates stay away from you so they can't get burned. Then you need to make sure that you click on his neck and then click to the other side where your teammates are. Nobody's on the magical side, so no special attack happens. Also, take note that the melee is just doing his job, standing still. He doesn't have to do anything right now. Just like when it was melee set, the magic person didn't have to do anything. You only have to do something if it is set for your side. If you do this correctly, then not only will you never burn your teammates, but you'll also be able to skip the flame wall. So, notice how whenever I attack, I click back onto the spot where I'm supposed to run, I click back into the middle of Ohm's neck, then I go to the other side. So now you know a little bit of the basics. Obviously you can do this better than I'm doing right now. There's a lot of things that I can do in order to improve my technique. That's why I raid every day on twitch.tv slash chemistry. And if you guys want to learn the basics or want to learn how to skip these specials, all you need to do is just come over to my Twitch channel. I teach raids every day using the Weedy Raids Discord. Hopefully I'll see you there. Now look, I already know half y'all ain't even going to go to the fucking Twitch channel. So all you need to do is make sure you hit that motherfucking subscribe button. And if you want to learn how to do raids, all you got to do is go into my YouTube. I actually have a full raids 1 or raids 2 guide. Peace.